Welcome back to the Hudipole King of TV Bowling. At the penthouse in St. Bernard, you're taking a look at Mike Niehaus, the challenger here in match number two. Looks good. And he got it. I'll warn you right now, he's got a following. He's, he's a pretty popular guy, and he brought him. He bust them all out here, bought him breakfast, I think, rented a minivan. <laughs> Drinking lots of beautiful. You betcha. Those are the softball players. Mike has, has always been a, an avid softball player, and these guys are all a bunch of crazies. I be, uh, the, they're loose, uh, loose uh, fun no, people. No, 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 they are. Something I, else. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it in the content. <laughs> Don Scudder, light, leaving the uh, swishing seven. We got some people that uh, be going up to the ABC tournament. That's the tournament that's held somewhere in this great country of ours. Once a year, a different city. This particular year, it's up in Niagara Falls. Don Scudder's going to be going. It's a beautiful tournament. The BPA, the ABC, governing bodies of our great sport. And the sponsors make it happen. And right here on WLW, Tommy. What do you think? We got some baseball coming up soon, huh? Got some baseball, yeah, that's right, coming up at uh, early April. They were supposed to start spring training yesterday. Mother Nature said, uh-uh. <laughs> so they'll give it a go today. But right now, we have got Don Scudder, who you're looking at there, and Mike Niehaus early on match number two. Mike Whalen, the king, one of these two guys, going to try to take that crown. You know, we could have Mike and Mike. <laughs> the 4-9 again. In the last game. Don Scudder left lane going a little bit high on that particular shot, leaving the 4-9. The shot that he brought back in our last match to really start pulling away. There you see it, the 4-9. We saw the optimum way to make it last time. Let's see if he can go two for two time. Well, he couldn't have done it any better the last time. You called that no. shot. If his arm swing looks good, he may miss it. So, Of course, he, he didn't throw that way. That's right, the way he threw that last one. But we've said it before, you get him to fall. That's all that counts. Here he goes. Same yep. route, not going to get it. You know, he had to throw it a little unorthodox the last time, and yep. maybe that's what happened this time he, since he didn't do that. Yeah, he, I'm sure he didn't. <laughs> when, he, when he watches the show later, I'm sure he'll see that his arm was no way resembling what he would normally do. That was a little closer and he missed. Mike Niehaus, tough competitor. Lane 10, Pinhouse. Mike is lined up. Working on a strike in the first. And there is number two and you can hear him hooting and hollering here at the Pinhouse. Bo talked about the following he's got. They're going to make some noise for the big guy. Well, he responds. A lot of people respond to that excitement, get the adrenaline flowing. Other people just want it nice and quiet, and they're going to do their thing. Mike's a wild and crazy kind of guy, as Bowie alluded to, <laughs> and he responds to that. He's a nice guy, too, really. You know, he's been bowling in our King qualifiers for 15 years, and uh, he did make the show in 79. I didn't realize that at Madison Bowl. That was before my time with the BPA. Let's take a look at this shot. What a way to open up. Right over the 14th board, Super Roll Revolutions, 1-3 pocket taken right out of the pitcher. That's about as perfect as you can knock them down. Good, strong forward roll. Little sigh of relief there. Yeah, look at him. He's trying to hide that smile. Come on, Mike. You got three right off the top. You can give it a little grant. No, we got a ways to go, but here's Don Scudder. He needed to have it, and he got it. You betcha. Don't count him out. Never, ever, ever until it's mathematically over. Don Scudder is not going to roll down. What's that he's putting on his finger right there? Looks like a little bottle he's got. He's kind of tipping it real quick. It's, uh, it's a substance we use more locally than anywhere else in the country called Lyft. It was uh, its inventor, Mr. Hacker. Chuck Hacker, yeah. Took some herbs and spices and puppy dogs' tails and all <laughs> kinds of stuff. And <laughs> <laughs> and put it in a powder, and it, and it really helps you give a great feel in the thumb hole. He wanted that. He was, running, he was running it out. He wanted it pretty bad, Tom, but the ball was not quite the ball you 
doesn't normally run out. He was looking for the light shaker, did not get it. Puppy tails, huh? Eh, who knows? The ingredients are secret. I bet Bo knows. Not really. No, nobody knows. No, it's a, Just it's a secret recipe. Yeah, I'm not kidding. But it works. Picks up the spare, but Mike Niehaus is working on three strikes right off the top. You have to say it again, got the, got the folks behind him. And the sponsors from West Hills. They're, they're, Tommy's reaching for his keys, I think. Right. I yes. would really love to give that away. Oh, I would too. And then this week, of course, you know, the car changes every week. And again, we do have that Mustang sitting in the parking lot. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. And I think Mike Niehaus would look great behind the wheel of that Mustang. Let's take a look at this shot. Absolutely perfect. Should be about the 14th board. Eh, 14 and a half. Who's going to do it? 1 3 pocket. Perfectly. What can you say again? That's the eight pin exiting stage back left. Nothing. Yep. <laughs> Mike has two 300 games to his credit. Two 299s and the uh, highest series he's ever shot is a 794. Take it from one who knows. I've been bowling for many years too and was fortunate, fortunate enough to throw my first 800 this year. It's tough to get that 800 and congratulations. Congratulations on this shot, the fifth frame. Look at it as we go to commercial. We'll be right back with some more of those. As we come back to the match, Don Scudder striking in the fifth and sixth frames to get back in the match. There you see it. Mike was giving us a thrill. Sixth frame, he buried him. Seventh frame is where we're at now. Left the ten pin in the seventh frame. The keys are safe once more, but what a thrill to get that far. Tom and Todd Schiller looking over here, shaking those keys in their hand. Thought it was going to be given away today. It's not, but nonetheless... This guy is ringing up some numbers. Uh, I'm excited for him. Second time on the show ever, right, Bo? That's correct. Comes out smoking with six perfect shots. You saw the shot of him there just a moment ago, and boy kind of nodding his head just saying, mm. I can hear that engine running. Don's, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't go away. Yes. Don Scudder isn't scared by six in a row because he can figure, I can throw six in a row too. There's enough paper left. He can get back in the match. Right now, as we look at it, we're, we're looking at 53 pins. Don's got a double working, cuts it to 43 pins, and if he keeps going, we may have a squeaker at the end of the game. You know, um, the month of March is a special month for the families that like to bowl together. We have the AVCO Family Twosome Tournament Qualifying, which is being conducted in uh, the area BPA bowling centers during March. It's a really neat tournament, and uh, if you want to bowl with your son or your daughter and go out and have a good time and have a chance to go on to some finals that are uh, near Kings Island this year, Absolutely perfect. Look at his shot. He's got to have it. What's he going to do? A head pin, center of your screen, going to the wall, coming off, cross body block, right into the four, double duty into the seven. Don Scudder is not out of here yet. He's as tough as he is hard. That Don Scudder's about as rough as they come, buddy, I'll tell you. Bowled against him for too many years, Tommy. So is this guy. Unbelievable. This is the kind of match we've been waiting all year for fantastic. You know, the last couple of weeks, we have just had some dynamite matches. A couple of weeks ago was, uh, oh, who were we? I know Bo knows. I know I she does. Yeah, she's I know it was Wayne notes. Sherman. It was that final match <laughs> yes. between Wayne Sherman and Don Hughes. Yes, that was and a good that one. And that Cole See? 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 Can't, can't trip her. No. Well, I don't say can't. It's tough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough, <laughs> Mike Niehaus, look out, completely Aaron's shot, 
when you've got things going your way, you might as well capitalize on it. Let's watch. We we prep him for the good ones. Let's take a look at it. Right, 16th board. What are you doing over there, Michael? But <laughs> that's like hitting a foul pole and it bouncing in for a home run, Tommy. There you go. The score scoreboard tells the story. Mike Niehaus is going to be the winner of our game two. Don Scudder. Just in case he'd trip and fall a couple of times, I'm sure would like to strike it out here. Shoot 247. Oh, man. How about the work there. Unbelievable pin action. This is what Don is good at. Again, head pin is the guy we got to watch. Center your screen. It's on the wall right now, coming off. Kicks the six into the four. The, f the head pin goes into the five. Don Scudder would love to finish with 247. And then Mike Niehaus would have to spare. Well, Don Scudder going to try to do just that. He's got his work cut out for him. Mike Niehaus has come prepared. He's got to have this one. If he doesn't get this one, it's all over. Again, the identical shot that we saw on the 10th, on the lane 10 before, he does not give up, he does not quit. Let's take a look at it here. We described it last frame. Let's just watch. The head pin is the guy working overtime. It is now on the wall. It is now coming off. Cross body block into the five. We're not out of here yet. Well, we've got some of our proprietors here. Yeah, this morning. A few of them are out of town skiing and doing whatever, but we uh, do have Mike McDonald, who is sitting as our official today at the tournament table. And Carol and her he came out this morning to watch their daughter, you know, Jennifer. We'd also like to uh, wish Sam Coleman a speedy recovery. He is recuperating from surgery of about a week and a half ago. And we were thinking about you, Sam. <laughs> is this great? He never gives up. Let's take a look at it here. Is he going to go away? Uh-uh, not today. 11th board, what do you think? Head pin again, working overtime. He's got to cut the head pin and check this week, folks. This time, the head pin knocks the four into the five. There you look at it, potential 247. If Mike Niehaus gets nine on this first ball and should happen to miss, we'd have a tie. Ooh. Well, I got to tell you, folks, when Dave Newrath said a few moments ago, Don Scudder was still in this one, the way Mike Niehaus was going. I, I don't know, but he is strong. Strikes out in the 10th, finishes with a 247, and had eight consecutive strikes. You know, the scores are really going to help our, our TV average this week. We went up a pin last week from 205 to 206, and this uh, looks like it's going to go up a few again. Situation is this, ladies and gentlemen. This man you're looking at, Mike Niehaus, with any kind of a mark, will win. But remember, he has to have at least a spare. Let's watch. It's high. Oh, no. Unbelievable. The crowd is stunned. Everyone is stunned. Don Scudder dodged the biggest bullet I've ever seen and what wins game number two. He is the winner. <laughs> it's history. Unless he wins, unless he brings this back, which is very difficult. But he went for it. Un everybody's shocked. Well, well, Mike Niehaus. Falls to Don Scudder in a good one. Stick around. Mike Whalen going to try to defend up next.